Welcome to the 8th International Symposium on the Focus on Rasan. I am Praveen Bhattani from Lemir Lab, Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard Medical School. I thank the organizing committee for providing me this opportunity to present our interesting research. So these are my disclosures. Today, I would like to outline talk on the pyrogrammet 3 A-beta, as well as how we use the focus ultrasound to improve the efficacy of the antibodies targeting the pyrogrammet 3 A-beta. So, as you all know, amyloid deposition is one of the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease, and I show you in this uh, image on the top panel, the accumulation of general A-beta species in the frontal cortex in the AD patients, uh, Down syndrome, and the age controls. Along with that, there are many modifications of the general A-beta, such as here I show you in the pyrogrammetry A-beta staining. The accumulation of uh, such peptides are one-to-one -one co-localized, uh, as in this picture. In the lower panel, I show you the immunofluorescence images for the general A-beta and the pyrogrammetry A-beta in the Alzheimer's disease patient uh, frontal cortex sample. As you can notice, the accumulation of the pyrogrammetry A-beta and the general A-beta are one-to-one -one co-localized indicating the importance of pyrogrammetry A-beta in the amyloid immunotherapy. And how is amyloid post uh, changed? I show you here in this uh, schematic diagram where you see the general A-beta peptide and with uh, subsequential uh, cleavage of the uh, peptide at positions uh, two and three by uh, some various enzymes in the present in the brain like nephrosilin, uh, expose the uh, glutamic amino acid uh, and the glutamyl cyclase enzyme target this site, causing the uh, cyclization of the glutamic acid, uh, ultimately leading to the formation of pyroglutamate 3 A beta. And this is one of the interesting uh, A beta peptide, which is prone to rapid uh, oligomerization and has increased uh, hydrophobicity uh, and has uh, shown resistance to degradation, indicating uh, the toxicity effects of such uh, peptides on the neurons. So, why target the pyroglutamate 3 A beta? Apart from the reasons I mentioned in the earlier slide, uh, these peptides are found in the plaques as well as in the blood vessels causing the cellular angiopathy. Uh, interestingly, uh, their levels in the blood are undetected and uh, antibodies targeting the pyrogram 3 A-beta does not bind to the aspartate 1 A-beta or the ABP. Previously, uh, our lab has shown the plaque lowering uh, efficacy of uh, a 7 by 1 IgG1, an antibody uh, targeting the pyrogram 3 A-beta in the N pre-plaque APP based on transgenic mice. Also, other people have shown in, in the transgenic mice models uh, lowering of plaque load, uh, treating with uh, humanized versions of the donating map. Uh, however, uh, these antibodies targeting the pyrogrammet 3 A beta uh, eventually uh, led to the uh, Alzheimer's amyloid related imaging abnormalities, edema. So, we have collaborated. Uh, uh, with the radiology department at the Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, with Dr. Nathan McDonald, and uh, to utilize this focus ultrasound technology to improve the therapeutic efficacy of the antibodies we are working on. Uh, so uh, either uh, to increase the enhanced penetration of these antibodies into the brain with transient opening of the blood brain barrier, as we show you here in this uh, graph, uh, the mice the superimposition being treated for the uh, 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 focus ultrasound and the antibody uh, therapy. Some earlier studies uh, did show uh, that there is a uh, lowering of plaque burden after the uh, amyloid immunotherapy and the focus ultrasound induced blood brain barrier distribution. Uh, here, uh, we show you uh, fluorescent uh, images of the trypan blue dye uh, in the sonicated area in the hippocampus here uh, after the blood brain barrier disruption. So, in our primary study, uh, we used the 16 month old APPPS1 male mice, uh, and these mice were treated. Uh, either alone or in combination uh, with the 72 ak monoclonal antibody targeting the pyrogrammetry beta uh, plus focus ultrasound. Uh, they were treated weekly once for three weeks, uh, which were later analyzed for the uh, behavioral phenotype and were euthanized later uh, to see the immunohistochemical parameters. So, Study uh, from these uh, experiments uh, indicated that the combination therapy where the mice treated with the um, 7 to AK monoclonal antibody along with the focus ultrasound uh, did lower the A beta 42 plaque burden in the hippocampus uh, and to a uh, non significant uh, trend lowering in the uh, for the A beta 40 species in the hippocampus. However, no such uh, differences were found in the prefrontal cortex. Um, as these mice were treated for focus ultrasound along with the monoclonal antibody targeting the pyrogrammetry A beta. 
uh, we analyzed the pyrogrammetry a beta uh, plaque load in the hippocampus and the combination therapy did show have an effect uh, showing a significant lowering of the plaque load we haven't seen uh, lowering of the a beta 42 or the beta 40 uh, binding insoluble uh, extracts uh, peptides uh, further we went to uh, understand to identify if there is any peripheral infiltration of the immune cells after the focus ultrasound so the combination therapy uh, did lead uh, to the increased penetration of the recruitment of the peripheral immune cells as you see here um, we use the marker for uh, like 6g uh, for neutrophil or the granulocytes as a peripheral uh, infiltration marker and the combination therapy did increase um, the like 6g uh, immune reactivity and further the overall effects of these resulted in the improvement in the cognitive performance of these mice uh, as estimated by the water t maze in the number of days of criteria they reached the target uh, the transgenic mice uh, which received the combination therapy took less time to identify the target so in our another study uh, we used aged 24 month old apps1 mice and these mice received a uh, single acute dose uh, either unilaterally or bilaterally and they were later uh, euthanized at early two time points, four hours and 72 hours. And uh, the biochemical samples were used for the later analysis. As you can see here, there was a penetration of uh, triprime blue uh, increasingly on the hemisphere that received the um, focus ultrasound. We also uh, analyzed uh, or estimated the amount of antibody that uh, penetrated into the brain in the bilateral focus ultrasound cohort uh, from the brain homogenates and uh, at both time points four hours and 72 hours we could see an increasing accumulation of the uh, 7 to 8 monoclonal antibody uh, in the brain we also analyzed the brain to the blood ratio as an indication of the equilibrium across the uh, system so uh, these uh, analysis uh, uh, showed that there is increased brain to the blood ratio uh, for the 72 k monoclonal antibody after the focus ultrasound and the combination therapy. Further, uh, we analyzed the immunoreactivity of the antibody in the brain, both in the hippocampus uh, as well as the cortex. Uh, and as you can show here, most of the immunoreactivity has been found uh, in the cortical uh, region as well as in the uh, regions close to the cortex and very less extent into the hippocampus. Uh, and interestingly, the immunological focus ultrasound study, we could identify a significant increase uh, in the levels of this uh, antibody immunoreactivity. Uh, further, we could also see an increase in immunoreactivity in the bilateral focus ultrasound uh, mice, uh, but only at the four hours uh, and that too in the cortex. So we also analyzed uh, the microglial response as well as the peripheral immune cell infiltration as we have uh, studied in our uh, earlier uh, experiment. Here in the acute focus ultrasound, we could show that uh, particularly in the unilateral focus ultrasound, uh, the mice uh, that received uh, the focus ultrasound or the hemisphere that received the focus ultrasound showed increased IBA1 immunoreactivity. Also, the phagocytic marker uh, CD68, uh, both at uh, four hours and 72 hours time points of view. In the mice that received the bilateral focus ultrasound, we could only see an increasing trend, but however, they are not significant. In the unilateral focus ultrasound cohort, uh, we also analyzed uh, the peripheral immune cell infiltration marker, uh, infiltration using the marker Lysig-G, and we could see increased depositions of Lysig-G positive staining uh, in the right hemisphere, the all the mice that received uh, focus ultrasound in the right hemisphere, but uh, only in the early time points, the four hours here. Uh, in this experiment, we also analyzed the uh, uh, hemocytin deposits as a marker for the microhemorrhages, and we could show here that the immunotherapy and the uh, focus ultrasound combination treatment did not lead to any significant increase in the number of hemorrhages uh, deposited or found, uh, both in the unilateral focus ultrasound cohort or the bilateral focus ultrasound cohort. In conclusion, in our three-week treatment study, we could uh, uh, demonstrate and uh, reduce a beta 42 and the pyrogrammetry three beta. Uh, plaque load in the hippocampus, as well as increased infiltration of Lysig-G positive immune cells, as well as enhanced cognitive improvement. In our acute treatment study, a single uh, dose combination treatment led to five to six fold increase of uh, antibody penetration into the brain uh, at four and 72 hours post treatment, and also an increase in IBA1 and the CD68 immunoreactivity uh, at both the time points. However, uh, increase in Lysig-G immunoreactivity has been seen only at the four hours uh, in the unilateral focus ultrasound. And also, we could we could not identify any more significant, any significant changes in the microhemorrhages or the hemocytin deposits found. So I finally acknowledge all my lab members, my PI, uh, our collaborators, as well as uh, the viewer in therapeutics and the Focus Ultrasound Foundation and NIH for the funding. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.